in the kitchen with Serenity. Today, I didn't really want to talk about anything. I'm just in the kitchen, you know, making a solar new meal for me and my husband, Rambo. And yeah, I just wanted to come on live so you can see what I'm doing. You know, we can chat. You can tell me what you ate today. And yeah, so let me see. Cooking. Welcome everybody coming to the room. Yeah, so today what I am making for our meal, our one cooked meal, you know, um, but that's a lie because we, we do more than one cooked meal because in the morning so when, we come, when we come back, we actually have oatmeal and that is a cooked meal. So, but as far as like a dinner or a lunch, this is like our one main meal that I'm making and it's sometimes Rambo, he makes, you know, meals for us too. So today it's my turn. So what I wanted to do because I had leftovers, I wanted to make something with the leftovers and so what I already have warmed up is some beans and rice. And then that's red beans and wild rice. So I, I warmed that up. And then also what I'm going to have with the red beans and rice is mushrooms. And how I cook my mushrooms. And this is for those that are transitioning from wanting to not eat meat. Mushrooms is a good uh, substitute for that and also nuts as well and this is a recipe that I use to make the mushrooms more savory I use liquid amino acids and that is um, substitute for soy sauce as you know soy sauce has a lot of sodium and things like that this is a natural alternative for soy sauce and then I season it with onion powder and then I season it with some sea salt and it tastes really good and I just saute it with some either some water or some coconut oil and I just saute that up and it tastes really good so what I'm going to do with the beans and rice I have these whole wheat organic tortillas and we'll just have tacos or burritos like that something simple but where our vegetables and our raw comes in is with the salad so I cut up the salad so far and now I'm going to do the ingredients and a lot of people don't know um, hey, I'm just talking hey everybody coming to the room what up um, a lot of people don't know there is a science to making salad most people just get the lettuce chop it up put the, the vegetables or whatever in it and call it a day but you want to make sure that you chop your lettuce really good like you know finely because you want to be able to eat all your ingredients all at once instead of having these big chunks of ingredients so what i'm going to do first i'm going to show you how i cut the celery y'all we all can't see it can y'all see remember they can't see it unless i do it like this oh you cook the same thing vocals Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Thank you for the technical support, sir. <laughs> just push this lady yeah. back. So this is how I cut my celery. I do it like this because I'm going to dice it. And this what makes it faster. I'm trying to see y'all and do this at the same time. Can y'all see? See, I feel like they can't see that. Or maybe I'll do it like this. Yeah. So then I have it in three strips and then I cut the little scragglies because I don't like the scragglies. And then I dice it. And I like my, and make sure you have a very sharp knife. So I like the celery pieces very thin. And the good way of chopping is ho holding it like this but putting your finger your your first finger here and in your thumb so that you're guiding it So, 
that chopped up. Do you have any bigger pieces or pieces that didn't chop all the way? You just chop it. And I'll have to go back over like this. I like it really fine. And then you put it in your bowl of lettuce. Okay. So next, I'm going to do a carrot. And I'm only going to do half of this carrot. I don't really need the whole carrot. I'm sure there's an easier way, but this is the way I've been led to. I'm going to do it like this. And then, when I'm cutting it, it's already in pieces. And then you can also shred it if you want to, however you want. But I want it to just kind of be like a little chopped salad. And I probably want to do this one. But yeah, you want your pieces to be small. And you want to really put intention into your salad. You want it to be delicious and you want it to be healthy and pretty. You know, and then it's the energy that you're putting into your food. So, see. So, there. So far. And then we're going to put some onion. Welcome, everybody, to the room. I see y'all. Uh, no, we have not got our own place. We're like, we're still in Airbnbs. But we treat it like it's our home. Live like you already have what you want and it don't really need I don't really like a lot of onion in my salad but um, I don't like that pretty much it. I don't really like a lot of onion. I do like green onion because it's not as pungent as the other onions. You can just scrape it in there. And then next, I have some cherry tomatoes. So I'm just going to just cut all of these up because this will be about enough. And then as I put this back in there. As I finish what I'm going to chop up, I put it right back in the refrigerator or I throw the scraps of lettuce. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Can you miss me? <laughs> so now I'm going to just, I just do these like this. Now, if it was a bigger tomato, I would, um, Cut them differently, but because they're cherry tomatoes, it'll change up the shape of things. And these are little cherry tomatoes. Yeah. So I'm gonna do just like this. One roll away. And I like to take my time when I make my food. I don't really like to rush if I can't take my time to cook my food I just don't want to cook or if I don't feel like it I ain't gonna cook because I don't want to put that energy into the food oops to make a fail see yeah pretty that is okay and so next I'm gonna do some of this bell pepper this isn't a big bell pepper and it's organic too. I'm only gonna do a little bit. I'm gonna do this. And that's great enough. Okay. Do this. Well, I might do a little bit more now that I'm gauging it. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe like a little piece. <laughs> yes, I love cooking with colors. So what y'all eat today? And sometimes what you can do, you can also, um, if you don't want to dice it, you can also cut it in thin strips, like all of your vegetables in thin strips. I mean, obviously, except for the tomato, but you could do it. But I want, for some reason, I want to dice today. See if this cucumber is still any good. Oh yeah, it's still good. This got a little frostbite from the refrigerator. I'm gonna do it like I'm gonna cut off. Usually I don't cut off the skin, but this cucumber looks kind of cruddy, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut the skin off. Yeah, this piece of the cucumber. This cucumber does not look like a good cucumber. It looks old. And I have another cucumber. Yeah, yeah so that's what I'll do. I'm just gonna because I like a lot of cucumbers. Oh, fettuccine, fettuccine Alfredo with broccoli. I used to love fettuccine Alfredo. The non-vegan kind and the vegan kind. Yeah, this is a better one. But I'm still going to put some of the skin off of the... Well, no, this is still crispy. So, and that's how you can tell when if it's still crispy. Then it's good. put the dressing on yet. Alright, so I'm going to take the scraps. And then I have this avocado, this big avocado, or half of it. And I'm going to put some of this in the salad too. With some of the shell, so we don't want that. All right, so I'm gonna use half of that because Rambo will probably want to eat some of this in his um, burrito or taco. All right, I'm gonna do that just like that. So I'm just gonna just chop some of it. Because what I would have done is I would have put the whole thing in there. But because I don't want to open up a whole nother avocado, well, we're really not going to eat it. Um, well, Rainbow could eat a whole avocado, but I just want to use this one. See, I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to put that in there. Okay. So now I have everything that I want to put into 
the salad. So now what we're going to do is the dressing. Okay. So first we're going to get the seasonings. And the seasonings I'm going to use is onion powder, salt, and I'll probably use some cumin. And let's see. Oh, a little cayenne pepper and I'm gonna get some lemon too I have some lemon and I think that's about it that's garlic salt I would put some garlic in it but and then to top it off I'm going to put some hummus so let me get the lemon I got this and what you can do is you can roll it like this to get the juice oh the vegetables were already washed I'm just showing you guys um, like what I'm doing sometimes I don't wash the vegetables like because especially if they're organic you want to keep the dirt on there especially with the root vegetables because that's where the minerals are it's in the dirt but then sometimes i wash them it just depends on how i feel about um because a lot of times that water we're using it's got chlorine in it so depending on where you are you better off keeping the dirt you know on um on your vegetables So I did it like this so it would be easier. So now I'm going to do, I'm first I'm going to squeeze, oops, I'm going to squeeze the juice like this. First I'm going to put the liquid on there. Oh, and I'm going to use a little olive oil. Oh, and I forgot I had some Kalamata olives. That would give it a really good taste as well. I want to put the liquid on there because... When you put the liquid on there first, uh, then when you put the non-liquid items on, it'll stick and it won't run off the seasonings. Okay. And then I'm going to just turn it like this. And I might need to use some more. This salad is really pretty. I'm really excited and also if you don't want to use salt you can use the liquid amino acids for the flavoring as well liquid amino acids is really good for flavoring okay let me think okay I probably could squeeze a little bit more okay so now what I'm going to do is sprinkle some salt and then some onion powder and then a little cumin, just a little bit because you know a little cumin goes a long way. Okay, and then some cayenne pepper you put the amount that you want to put on there I'm just gonna put a little bit and I'm gonna sprinkle a little oil drizzle a little oil yeah like that and then stir it actually what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use my hand you want to use your hand. If your hands are clean, you know, use your hand. And plus, you put more of the love when you use your hand. Because that spoon wasn't going to cut. Because I really want all the ingredients to go to this dish. The flavoring and the love. Just like that. Yeah. Ooh. 
shoot. I'm, I'm, by the way, I'm a messy cook. Like, I'll be making a mess. Okay, so let me see what this tastes like. Mmm. It's really good. Mmm. The problem, watch my hand. Mm -hmm. Messy. Okay, I could probably use some more of this. The coconut oil gives it a really nice flavor. And then a little salt. And then maybe a little more, more cumin. Okay. And then what I want to do put some olives. Put some olives. You gotta give it a really nice flavor too. Look at them olives. I haven't had olives in a, in a long time. I'm just gonna put two spoons. Well, okay, I'll put three spoons. <laughs> Cause Rambo likes olives too. And maybe a little bit more. Okay. And so now I'm going to stir it again. Oops, shoot. Oh, it fell out. <laughs> Y'all should see this little one. <laughs> I got lettuce and tomato, olives. Yeah, this looks really good. We probably won't even need the hummus, but I think the hummus will take it over the top. And so what I'll do is when I'm serving it, I'll put a dollop of, um, of um, hummus. I ain't gonna put the hummus on it now. But honestly, the way this looks and feels doesn't even need the hummus. Look at that. Look at that. Yes. Taste it. Mmm. It's really good. Oh my god. You gotta make your salads like that. And you see what I did? I just moved it down. You see what I did? I just chopped all the vegetables and stuff that I want. Yeah, there's avocados in here, system. And then what I did, I made my own dressing. And I used, let me show you what I used. Cause y'all see, I don't know if everybody that's coming in uh, didn't see what I did, but there is lettuce, fresh lettuce, tomato, onion, cucumber, celery, and carrot, and bell pepper. And I put calamari olives and a little bit of avocado. And then what I did, I drizzled some lime juice and some coconut oil and then I added my own seasons. I did onion powder, salt, cayenne pepper, and cumin and I think that's it. Yeah and then you can serve it with some hummus if you want to make it a little bit more thick like a ranch dressing but I think this is a perfect way of making a salad without using the salad dressings because a lot of the salad dressings in the store they have a lot of ingredients that you didn't ask for. You know, you want what you want, but when you get things at the store on the shelf, they gotta put preservatives and other addictive things that are not natural for you to consume in the products to keep it on the shelf longer. So I think this is a cheaper way and even more delicious and creative way to make your own salad dressing. And you can use the different seasons. You don't have to use what I use. You can use, you know, like different things, you know? So now, so there you go. That is the salad. So let me wipe my hand off. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just going, and then Rambo likes his stuff really hot. So I'll probably chop up a hot pepper for him so he can have it in his food. That's another way. Of getting spice use the actual pepper and also if you don't want to wear deodorant if you want to go natural recycle your limes put them in your armpits I haven't worn deodorant in two years and this is what I do because it neutralizes um, your your body your your body um, and the bacteria because when you use soap you are offsetting the bacteria in your armpits and that's why you have that smell 
also the foods that you eat too but that's a whole nother topic but when you use the lime or the lemon it neutralizes it and so you don't have to worry about smelling like chicken noodle soup <laughs> and then you don't keep these you throw them away so that's what i'm going to do A lot of people don't know that like lime or lemon is a natural, you know, deodorant. You can, you, but you got to keep using it and then don't wash your um, underarms with soap. Just do it with water as you're doing this for a week. I guarantee you, your body odor will go away. That's what happened with me. Because I used to have really bad body odor and I used to sweat a lot. Regardless if I was vegan or I was eating meat, I always had a strong scent. And so then when I started using the... Um, lime and lemon it actually took it away so all right so now what I'm going to do because right now I'm going to make the burrito or taco depending on how this is going to work <laughs> so we have the beans and rice this is leftovers and then I have a little bit of the, some mushrooms and that's like the meat. And so now what I'm going to do, so we have a, a iron skillet. So I'm going to turn that on and let this cook that. Okay. Mm, all right. It is. Oh, it's the back one? Uh-huh. Would you like to make an appearance, Rambo? No, no. <laughs> well, I'm sure you want to see the baby. He has the baby. That's the only reason why I'm able to do this, because he has the baby. Say hello. Say hello. <laughs> hey, little buddy. <laughs> He's just like, mm. <laughs> Yeah, that's the only way I'm able to do this. Rambo is holding the baby. So let me put this stuff out. And I like to have a clean space when I am cooking. So all the stuff that I'm not using, I'm putting it back. I don't like to, because I'm a messy cook. So I'll have this cold kitchen looking crazy. Okay. I'm going to put this away. time when I make um, the burritos I'll have like all the fixings but today this is just leftovers and salad so I just want to use up what we have and that's why you're gonna see you know how this is gonna be uh oh does the baby need me okay so first what I'm gonna do Rambo The baby is not happy. You want to take over? Want me to take the baby? Cause he probably wants. You probably want to take over? This is all I'm doing now, and so you want me to take him and you do this? <laughs> just making burritos and then just showing them. Cause he's not gonna stop crying. So Rambo's gonna take over your while I feed the baby. Huh? What is this Oh well, I didn't know if you you wanted me to take him because he was crying, and I know he's I know what he wants because he just woke up, so he's probably wanting to feed. Okay, never mind, y'all. He don't want to take over. He wants me to finish this, so I'm gonna do this. Yeah. 
Okay. Wait till you taste the salad, Rimba. And so, any other time I would have like salsa, like sauteed vegetables, like some type of che natural cheese sauce. But today, we're just gonna do the minimums. And I think Rimba will like it. Because let me see if I can, usually I can do it, but these are little. So let me see if I can make a little baby burrito. Because you stuff it in there. Okay, I don't know if I'll be able to do it. it. might be too much stuff in here. Yeah. But then what you could also do is put it back on the skillet. Yeah, my, I think I overstuffed it. But, um... And you can put it on there and cook it some more. So that... Okay, hold on. I did it! Well, almost. Yeah, like that. Okay, let's press it down. <gasps> let's press it down. Let's press it down. Okay, yeah. So it's like a little, see, a little burrito. <laughs> okay. I get the other one off the. It's hot too. Okay, then we're gonna do this. This one's gonna be mine because I don't want no pepper in mine because these beans are already hot. Oh, we might have enough for one more just in case it won't be enough for rainbow. And then we put the mushrooms. I'll leave him some. I'm going to put the rest of the mushrooms in there. So he wants another one. He has I didn't know if he was going to have enough. Okay. And then well, I'm only going to put this much. Because I'll save some for him for later. Yeah, this is perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did that. Did that. It's not neat, but I did it. Okay. And so then what I'm going to do is that it's one of those. I'm going to. Where's the spoon at? Well, I'll just use my hands because it's just us. Now, if it was other people, I would obviously use a serving. But it's just me and Rambo, so. I can't wait to eat this salad. Mm -hmm. And this is a really simple dish that I think that everyone loves. It's very simple. And that's the thing with me. I like making simple dishes. Okay, I think he's going to like this. I still got a little bit of salad. I know this is a lot, but we didn't eat our oatmeal today. We just had fruit for our breath for our um, breakfast. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Awesome husband, so he'll just clean it up. <laughs> okay, and so then I'm gonna. This is when I put. Well, I'm gonna see if he wants that because I honestly don't think we even need the hummus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I don't want none, but I'll see if he wants some. Okay, because I actually like the salad just the way that it is. Okay, so this is the plate. Look at all that salad and my little burrito. And this is Rambo's. This is Rambo's plate. He can probably get another burrito. Oh, I gotta cut his his pepper up. That's what I gotta do. Give him some pepper. If I know he'll. He likes this stuff. Spicy. Mm. 
Okay. All right. So let me. All right. So yeah, that is what we're going to be eating. Let me see what y'all was talking about. Um. Well, I no, not necessarily avocado vegan girl. Someone said, "Do I eat just one meal a day?" Um, no, because now, like in the mornings, like I'll eat some oatmeal, and I like for me breastfeeding is like I need to make sure I'm I'm getting enough nutrients. Um, but yeah, that's all I eat is like oatmeal, and then for our cook our our dinner, our lunch, whatever, whenever I choose to make it. It'll be something like this. And then after that, we don't eat anything. Unless it's like uh, maybe fruit, nuts, and maybe some tea and stuff like that. Uh, so, yeah, I guess you can kind of say that, I, that we still do that. I mean, I, I like eating just one meal a day, really. I think we eat too much. Okay. Um, Vocals by Nature said, what are your thoughts on dragon fruit and jackfruit? Um, I don't like it raw. I do like it cooked like we made a dish we made um some barbecue jackfruit and it was really good i really like that and that's like the only way that i'll eat it oh let me see what it tastes let me see let me taste it for y'all i know y'all want to see what it tastes like mmm very good if it use some salsa but it's still good mmm very very good hey Hawaiian smiles if you're still there you said make vegan chicken wings oh yeah from um coffee crab let me get a fork So now you're gonna taste the salad. See? And in this one little bite, we got cucumber, celery, bell pepper, onion, and an olive. Mmm, it's so good. You know what would be good in this? Some nuts, like walnuts. That would be good. That's a good way to get your protein. The protein in and then give it a nice crunch. That'll be really good for the salad. Mmm. Now I'm supposed to be equal rainbow. Alright. So I'm going to go tomorrow. I'm going to do a live tomorrow on YouTube. So I might do it today. I don't know, but I'm going to do it tomorrow. But I'll let you guys know again. Let me see. Okay, I'll let you guys know, but the topic tomorrow for my uh, video, either today or tomorrow, I'll make a notification. It's going to be on YouTube. If you're not following me on YouTube, follow Stephanie Leonard. Um, um, oh, somebody said, how do you tie those wraps you're wearing? I, it's all different types of ways. You can tie it like this, or you can tie it like that, or you can twist it and tie it around. You can tie it like a skirt. Well, you can tie it like I, I love these and my uh, my YouTube name is Stephanie no not Stephanie no that's Facebook uh, reflection serenity so make sure you are following me to um, get updates I'm gonna start be doing more lives on there so I'll be able to save it but the topic tomorrow or today I don't know because I don't know what time it is is why I am no longer vegan yeah, I know y'all seen me do this video with with the vegan meal, but I want to share with you guys why I'm no longer vegan. All right, so stay tuned to that video because it's going to be really important information for you to know. And again, I'll put a notification out to let you guys know when I'm going to do that video. Okay, I'm about to enjoy my meal with my husband and enjoy the rest of the day. And I invite you to do the same. I love you.